I've lived with HIV my whole life since birth. I got positive through transmission from mother to child. At the time when I came to learn about it, I didn't see any value of me being around or living at that very young age. But um, with time, everything transitioned. So far, I'll say it's just part of me, but it does not define my whole identity as a person, as a brand, as an individual. As an advocate of young people living with HIV, I commit to improving their HIV issues. We have a lot of social determinants that are affecting your normal day-to-day -day living as a person who lives with HIV. Tell us about your experience as a young woman living with HIV. In my own experience, it was quite supportive for urban areas. We are quite progressive and also accepting. But in rural areas, because um, HIV is related to sex and sex is quite a taboo, because of that culture, it's quite difficult to be accepted when you feel living with HIV. <laughs> nice to finally meet you. How are you? Hello. I've been waiting for you for long. Thank you for Hi. having me. Currently, Kenya is grappling with a new HIV infection. Among adolescent girls, the counties that contribute the highest to this new incident, we have Kisumu, Homa Bay, then we have Siaya. One common underlying denominator is that they are all fishing communities. The fish catch is dwindling, so poverty has risen. So that means that intergenerational sex, transactional sex, and of course issues of sexual and gender-based violence are coming into play. That the girls here are vulnerable. I think if you talk to the girls, you'd get it better. So I know they're out of lunch or from lunch. Let's hurry up and go and meet sure. them. Let's see the girls. I'm working on myself, for myself, by myself. We work with adolescent girls who were born with HIV. And of course, girls and young women living with HIV. We provide uh, treatment care and support through a peer approach. The goal with HIV treatment is to achieve viral load suppression. If you have low levels of the virus in your blood, it means that you may not be transmitting it. So we address reinfection and also contribute to a reduction of HIV infection. Okay, so, so who else has a question? Peer-to-peer -peer support give them an opportunity to have a community where they are not judged. They are able to talk to this specific person on their needs, their challenges, their dilemma in life, not forgetting that they are still adolescents growing into adulthood. Yes. Mambo. <laughs> Community Adolescent Treatment Support. I support the 
adolescent mothers living with the child naweza pumbuza infection rate kwa yera yetu watu wamefanywa counseling wajue umuhimu wa kumeza dawa the similarity between Nasi and I is that we both engage with adolescent girls and young women living with HIV at community level. We give guidance, we give information, and we are trying to inform not only young people living with HIV, but also the rest of the community that uh, there's life beyond HIV. Santi Kwachapati, I'll see you again. I am Santi Kwakwana Sisi. Bye. Bye. The power to change the tide is with the community of persons living with HIV. The change that occurs in the person, the communities that I work with, that inspires me. It makes me know that I'm doing something great. Meeting individuals like Marcy and Brenda has brought hope for the future of HIV because through their journey, their support, they are able to help young women living with HIV reduce the new infection among their peers and also their children. They are pushing the agenda of adherence to HIV treatment, which bring us closer to end the HIV epidemic in the future.